Hello everyone, um, welcome to episode 10. Today, on this one, I'm probably gonna be continuing, I think I still have to continue this, right? Yeah, going all in, still needs to be finished. So, <clears throat> we're probably gonna finish that, and if I actually stick to my word and I don't keep rambling about everything that I do, like I kept saying in the, I keep saying in the previous videos, um, we'll do an Origins story. I don't know which one yet. It'll probably be Sarabella's just because... Actually, no, I've already got a good Sarabella. Um... Might do Philia's. Philia's could be good. But I'll, I'll think about it when we get to it. But anyways, I want to show you something. Um... <clears throat> I haven't actually been grinding like I said I was. Um, I'm doing it now, but I'm using the gold price fight as an example here because you can um, quite easily level up your fighters on teams like this one. I'm I'm not going to do the 10.2 because the 10.2, as you can see, you have to look at the fighters. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's been a bit thingy because I've not long eaten. Um, but there's a 6k persona assistant, which means... It's almost a fake score. Like if it, if if the fighters were all um, 3k each, roughly, I might be able to do it within the three minute limit. But yeah, I don't think I could beat that 6k persona because that means she's got her abilities unlocked and her abilities make dash attacks become unblockable. So <clears throat> yeah, not gonna do that. But I'll do this one. And as you can see, I've already done one because I wanted to see if I could do it. I've been using um, Somersault as a carry. And I've put Doubleicious in there and Graveyard Shift in there because they're needed. Um, Doubleicious has got a great uh, signature ability, which is what I'll show you now. She does that, but it goes to 25% for both. So really good. A Graveyard, obviously, because I, I want to use Graveyard a little bit. But yeah, I'm doing this, and um, probably going to do a few more of them. But as you can see, I'm probably not going to use... I don't think I need to use Summer Soul for this one. I'll use Wolf's Bane. But you can see that at the top, <clears throat> my combined fighter score is 2,064. Uh, their combined fighter score is about 4,600. Meaning that altogether, if I win this, I'm going to get probably... An equivalent to like a 60% long shot bonus. I think that's how it works in my mind. But you'll see the XP. I feel like I don't know if it's if this is true, but I feel like that price fights actually give more XP than doing like stories. I don't know if that's true. But we'll see. After this, because it looks like I've won it. I don't and the modifier for this one is Parasol's price fight, meaning we get vampire. Vampire means every single hit is going to regen <clears throat> health equal to 50% of that damage, and I just wasted that. So yeah, my Wolfsbane is pretty much not going to die at this point, unless I mess up badly. I didn't mean to do that. What is this to finish off? Yeah, you should see that there's a decent amount of XP coming out of this, I hope, just to prove my point. We've been getting around 800-ish on the against like the opponents in the story that are like that level but if i show here how much here yeah there you go 2.3 and it's a 50 percent long shot okay fair enough but yeah um obviously wolf's bane is already level 10 he doesn't 2000 xp gonna sort him but it helped out double and graveyard and the only thing I don't like about gold prize fights, but I understand it, is that you can't use bronze fighters, as you can see there. And that was one of the one that was one of the things I wanted to do. It annoys me that you can't that I can't do it on my main account either, because I have a lot of bronzes that need to be thingy to silver, but there are other methods around that. So yeah. Um, as another thing that actually is a good thing it's shown up because I wanted to explain it. You can see that there is a fire, there is a fire with times two in it. 
That means there, this defense team has gone unchallenged for four for four fights, meaning someone has seen this fight four or like people have seen this fight four times and skipped over it, which means it's built up a little bit of a multiplier. It's almost like a bounty. Um, so what will what will happen is, as it said, we'll get double points for beating it, and that 1.5 one would get 1.5 points. Those multipliers can go up to five times, <clears throat> meaning you can get five times the amount of points. Um, they're very useful for later on when when you're trying to get milestones done on certain event prize fights, like when I got to 250 something million on the recent one, the Valentine one. That like the bounties really helped. There was one fight where I got like 3.5 million points alone, and that was such a that was such a huge time saver. I didn't put my phone on. On a thingy. Anyway, I probably should stop talking now. I'm going to do a little bit more of this and then get to the story. And then, depending on the time, we'll do an origin. So, I'll see you then. Okay, guys. I'm back. I've decided that the the grinding can honestly wait. I feel like I probably can still do these. Just about. But we won't start a Center for Women until I have been grinding. Like, I will go and do that. It's just, um... For now, these modifiers are still really easy. <clears throat> like the powers a bit the powers scaring me and it depends on the type of fighter. Like as you can see here. That is one hundred percent going to be the two uh gold big bands who are Epic Sax and I apologize for saying it, but his this is his name, Private Dick. Yeah, that's his name. It's a reference to a detective, so don't don't kill me. <laughs> If you don't, if you don't have him, and you don't know about him, unfortunately, that's his name, and I have to say that. So yeah, um, and this one is one hundred prob probably a hundred percent also going to be. If I had to guess, this one's going to be Firefly, and it'll either be No Egrets or Regally Blonde, or that could also be Blood Drive and Regally Blonde. I don't know. But you can kind of get an idea, like, I know for a fact this one's Primed, because I remember this one. And I know for a fact this one is Princess Pride, because I remember this one. The green Eliza, that means that's going to be Bloody Valentine, because there's no... There's no Air Elizas, apart from that one. Except Diamond. Uh, Dark, that's probably going to be Bloodbath. Um, that's going to be Red Velvet with... <coughs> the big Top, or it could be Scarlet Viper. Um... Dark Peacock, that's either going to be Inkling or Untouchable. No, un Inkling or Ultraviolent, and that will be the same as the other Water Parasols. That's either going to be Oh My or Pyrotechnique. And that's either going to be... I doubt it will be Megasonic, so it's probably Resonant Evil, to be honest. But yeah, you can kind of get an idea of who you're going to be fighting. So you, if you know the fighters that you're going to be fighting, like I know exactly what all of those do. Uh, you can kind of, like, try and work around it a little bit. But the only one who really needs working around there is probably Resonant Evil. And, I guess, Red Velvet. You could probably Cold Stone's Red Velvet, just so she doesn't go into segment mode. Because segment mode for newer players might be a thing that they don't really see too often. And if it happens, they might not know what to expect. So, yeah, I'm going to get to the treasure nodes then. Because it shouldn't take me too long. And I'll see you back with the rewards okay guys welcome back uh, this is the first one and I don't have anything to unlock for her that's not good okay <clears throat> okay they're only 800 each that's fine do you have your thing though yep you do which means if you tag out you might be a little bit annoying and the other fighters I'm not worried about it's just this rock star honestly and she's not even that annoying, it's just, if she tags out, she can be annoying, so, I've just messed up. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Didn't even need to use that. I could've got away with it. Then we'll use that, just so we take less chip damage. Just in case anything goes badly, because you never know. Made myself look like an idiot before. 
Although I basically am just exploiting grabs at the moment. That didn't connect, that's interesting. I did that earlier and I tried it and it actually worked. I, but it didn't work on Philia. Because characters' hitboxes are slightly different depending on the fighter, so maybe that's why. But we're starting to get gold moves, that's good. That is pretty good. Well, that's that one down. I'll see you with the next one. Okay, welcome back again. We're on the next one now. This one, I've just checked, it's no bronzes, so... I'm thinking... We do them too. That should be fine. Oh, it's an Annie. Please don't be, uh... That's probably the one I didn't want it to be. Okay. Actually, no, it's better. It's you. You do have all your stuff. Yeah, this is why in the previous video I mentioned, if you listen, that I got uh, a Timeless Hero uh, on the morning. And <clears throat> I said the only one I'm missing and the one I wanted the most was Moonstruck. And this is why. You can see all of her signature ability and all of its glory there. She is a really strong Annie. Wait, how did you... How does that count as a safe... A safe combo? That's interesting. I'm going to save that Diamond Dynamo. I'm not going to use it yet. I'll use it now. Now that she's in the corner. Because now I can hopefully... <clears throat> just cheese grab. Or grab cheese. I said it the wrong way around. It looks that way. Honestly, I should have started with moves. Uh, no. I should have started with Doubleicious. But I don't have anything unlocked for Doubleicious. So I just decided to go with Toad Warrior. Because I have a little bit of Blockbuster meter for her. But yeah. That's how you do that one. And we're still getting gold moves and premieres. I'm liking these rewards today. Also... The only thing I don't, the only thing that's uh, worrying for other people about that one is that it's random. And what I mean by that is, if I go to the gold section of the fighters in the catalog real quick, I'll show you some of the fighters that you have a potential of getting. You can get any gold, and the gold you don't want to see. Uh, for early on, people like this guy because he's got a stupid amount of health, and his and his signature ability is just based around getting health and armor back, which means for you're going to be waiting quite a bit of time to <clears throat> like uh, deal with it if you don't take somebody who can. Um, if you take Doubleicious like I did though, and you actually have her unlocked, Doubleicious will steal the armor and regen, so you're good. Um, it could have been any of the Bellas, also I didn't mention, it could have been any of the Beowulfs, and it could have, they could have been... Uh, a Beowulf with the Wolf Shoot special move, the command grab that I was telling you about in the previous episodes. It could have been one of those. It could have been Evergreen Evil, one of the worst. She's one of the best one-on-one -on -one fighters in the game right now. And she's also fantastic as a support, as you can see. She increases buff durations uh, for herself and teammates. But what makes her so bad is, as long as she's not at a disadvantage... Which means if you're using a water fighter, as long as she's not air, the other four the other four types that she can transmute into, she has a chance to gain fawns and regen when you hit her. If you can't if you don't have anybody to deal with that, it's very annoying. Um it could have been Rainbow Blight who again transmutes and gives you a bunch of annoying things. It could have been Xenomorph. And Xenomorph like her second ability, it gives you timeless bleed when dead, but the first one she has a chance to transmute into dark. Or when she transmutes back into dark, she has a chance to give you doom. And if you can't beat her within those 30 seconds, that fight is dead. Because doom completely, it just hits through anything as far as I know. I'm pretty sure it also hits through final stand. So yeah, be wary of that. It could have been bloodbath, who is bloodbath. You can't use a bleed fight on it. It could have been dreadlocks, who you already know about. It could have been vaporwave, who we've got already. It could have been any fortune. And if it was Meow and Forever, I would have probably quit. Because there is no way I'm going to beat the Meow, the Meow and Forever. As you can see here, yeah. 
she's got one of the best defensive signature abilities in the game because it allows her to like yes um you can keep resetting the final stand that she gets every 10 percent health she takes but at the same time um as soon as that final stand expires obviously she stuns you and she has a chance to just like instantly delete a fighter if you don't have a fighter with immunity or re or like built in resistance it could have been buzzkill who would have been very annoying as a one-on-one -on -one fighter because if she damages you to a certain set of HP, she gains an enraged stack, like a permanent enraged stack. Uh, it could be Princess Pride, who has a chance to just spawn in with the Napalm Trigger move, and also the Napalm Shower move. And she will just put down a bunch of tears, and she will regen all of her health again. Very annoying. It could have been Headhunter, who can hit you through blocks with beam attacks. It could have been that's all folks who we really who I keep explaining about. It could have been untouchable, who is just annoying. It could have been bio exorcist, which might have been a loss like immediately. Um, and it could have been last hope, and I think that's the only one. But yeah, it could have been either one of these guys. And I got quite a. I don't even remember who I got now. It's irrelevant. Anyway, I'll see you back um, with the next treasure node. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, we're at the third treasure node. This came to me as a surprise because I didn't think it connected here. I thought it connected to this uh, no egrets blood drive combo or even the one below it. This one. But I guess it turns out it connects here. And I'm pretty sure this is big bands, right? Silver. That makes it a little bit easier. Um... It makes it easier, but it doesn't make it any easier in terms of fighting them, does it? I don't know why I, t I only took Inkling because of the epic sax damage bonus on him. But I have a feeling that I, this might be a loss on camera. We'll see. <clears throat> it could be. I could get chipped to death quite easily here. And if I mess up once, I'm going to take a stupid amount of damage. Like that. He just giant stepped me and I blocked that, by the way. I needed that much. So yeah, this might be... Uh, Private Dick also might be super annoying because he has a massive health pool. Okay, if I do that... Then that... This is where, by the way, you might want to start learning combos. Like, I'm using this combo that... I've I've only really just recently learned that you could do this. I've, I'd always just do a normal combo into those two. But hang on, if I do that, it forces him to move, and he blocked again. Okay, I'm getting a bit worried because, as you can see at the bottom, yep. Okay, there you go. Hmm. Is there any way for me to control meter? I don't think so. You know what, I'll give this another go on camera. Why not? If I can't beat it, I'm just going to beat it off camera because I can see that this video is already 18 minutes long. I'm just going to beat it off camera and then go straight to the relics. If I can't beat it again. But if I can't beat it again, it means I have to level some... I have to figure out someone to use for it. That could have been bad. Hey, don't tag out, please. I need to kill you first. So if I stay on him like this, he shouldn't really tag out. That's one way I'm pretty sure you can... Normally that works. Okay, see, he doesn't have a level 3 this time. So I should win this. As long as I don't mess up. It's a shame that it comes down to that. Being a fa I don't know why I did that, because it's not going to hit. Never mind, it still hits him a little bit. Okay, I genuinely thought you were going to grab then. Let you get close. So I can do this. Another thing, by the way, I could have leveled up this impending doom, which probably isn't a good idea anyway, because it's only a silver move, I believe. 
But I could have leveled this impending doom to get the level 3 version of it. Although, as you can see, I've beaten it this time because I wasn't a level 3. But if I leveled it up, he has a chance to stun. I don't think it would have worked on him anyways because Private Dick has a 50% resistance. Naturally. So, yeah, that's how you beat that one. Which I really shouldn't be challenging it at my level, but I did. So, honestly, I'm just going to beat... I'm going to beat the rest of this off camera now. And I will be back with the relics. Okay, guys, um, welcome back. As you can see, it's time for the good stuff. We beat it. So, um, we're going to have a lot of relics to open now. And beatbox got to 30. Nice. That's good. <clears throat> Rusty's also got to 30 during that. So, we've actually got quite a few of the bronze fighters who are maxed out now. Or, like, the main ones. But, yeah, we got 13 relics. Damn. Six of those are premieres. What I'm hoping for is I only want one silver. If I can just get one silver, then I can open a gold relic for the end of this, which would be nice. Oh, my days. Okay, that is that is going to be staying for a long time. If that was meat again instead of resistance, that was perfect. That can stay. That's not too bad. Actually, we're not really going to get rid of any. But I'll show you as an example. Moves like this one, don't invest in because HP and HP. You don't want ones with HP numbers because it doesn't give you as much of a bonus like it's nowhere near as much like this it's fine for now but later on when i have a better tag out for parasol i'm not going to keep it again this could have been better if it was not hp numbered uh this we're just going to keep because it's there and that is h is attack and hp numbers so it's terrible but what can you do so yeah all i all i want out of this is a silver so i'll get on with it now I don't think if I get if I got six bronzes, I don't think six bronzes is enough to get me the silver red. No, definitely not. Okay. We just need a silver then. And I'm hoping for that. That's all I want. <clears throat> oh no, it ain't looking likely. This could actually just be six this could legitimately be six, be six bronzes, which is not good. Yep. It's looking that way. You know what? I'll open them both at the same time. That's cool. You know what? For content purposes, I'm not I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing it. I don't care. Oh well. This is gonna be a terrible ending, isn't it? Because I'm about to get eight bronzes in a row. What is this? Okay, schoolgirls mobile, what is this? On one hand, I don't care that much, but really? I literally need one silver. And that's it. That's all I want, I just want one silver. Surely there's something that I can do. Nope. Unfortunately, there is nothing I can do. I know I shouldn't have spent... Before anybody gets mad, I know I shouldn't have spent that fear night, but that was strictly for content, for content purposes. I thought I could get the silver, because odds are you don't get eight silvers in a row out of those relics. Like, I know the odds, I'm going to show the odds now, I know they're heavily towards bronze, as any relic is, but one of those should have been a silver, as you can see. But yeah, we didn't get one, so... Uh, nothing I can do about it. But anyways, that's the end. Uh, I'll thank, I want to thank you guys for watching. I also noticed recently that my Valentine's Relic video has almost hit 50 views now. That means nearly 50 different people have watched that. If you're one of the people who have watched that and you're listening right now, thank you so much. And I also saw that 
the subscriber count has gone up to seven. Thank you guys so much as well. It means a lot to, to know that what I'm doing is actually interesting and appealing to some people. But, yeah. I'll keep going, and I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you have a good day. Okay, guys, I said I was done uh, for that video, but yeah, it's day 12 login on this account, which means we get to get, we get a character-specific relic. And if this is a silver, then we got a gold relic. No, it's a bronze. Okay, well, I brought you back for nothing. See you tomorrow. <laughs>